Lolita, light of my life, fire of my loins, my sin, my soul, Lolita. Hello everyone, it is Skylar and today I'm going to be doing my Nymphet wardrobe tour. So, my closet is actually like a walk-in sort of closet. So I also have like my school desk in my actual closet too. So what I ended up doing is I moved all of my clothes onto my bed as you can see. So it'll be easier for me to actually show everything that way. I do plan on doing like a Nymphet shoe collection sort of video, but that's going to be for another video because this one I know is already going to be long enough. What I plan to do is I'm going to show sponsored items first because they're sponsored and I'm going to show you what they look on. I'm going to go into a little more detail on them. Then what I'm going to do is show everything in my collection that I already had. But yeah, the only thing I'm going to go into real detail would be the sponsored items because if I did that with every single thing, then this video would be like literally 30 minutes and I'm not trying to make like a TV show, so. So first I'm going to be talking about the things that I got from Shein. One of the things I got is actually like this cute little crop top. This is probably one of my favorite crop tops at the moment right now. It has like this really velvety sort of red color. I also really like the fabric. It's stretchy in the top and the bottom. And also you can wear this like two different ways. One of the ways that I'm wearing it right now, it's where like nothing's really in the front, but you can actually also wear it this way too, where like these little tassels and the strings hang off. And there's also like a big slit in the back too. So if you want to wear it that way, you can do that. For me, that's too risky. So I choose to wear it this way. I feel like the strings are really long, but I was thinking of maybe like cutting them shorter or cutting them completely off just to make like a choker out of one or maybe like I'll cut one off and make it into like a belt or something. I don't know. I feel like that would be cute. So that's one thing that I am considering. Another thing I got from Shein are these uh, fishnets. And when you buy this item, you actually get four fishnets in it. So for someone like me who never had fishnets before, it was nice because they sort of included like fishnets that were really close together and some that were really far apart. You can sort of see what fishnet design you prefer more. I tend to like these really close together ones. I think it gives off like a sheer sort of appearance that I really like. They also feel really soft. Moving on to stuff that I got from Ramui now. I actually have this cute, whoa, let me order it like this. I have this cute little skirt. Oh my God, it's so, this is probably one of like the best skirts I own now. I feel like the material, it just feels so well made. The material is really soft, has a little zipper in the back and it even comes with like built in shorts too. Like, can you see like that? I really like this shade of pink it is too. Like it's a really cute shade of pink, but it's not like too in your face or anything. I feel like this will be good in the spring because it's that pink color. You got like your pink cherry blossom vibe going on. Then from Romwe, I got this really cute like skirt and uh, crop top set. The design is the same as that one dress I got from Shein a, a little bit back. I think that was in my one of my last Shein videos or whatever. The sunflowers are like slightly different, just in color though. I feel like these sunflowers are more golden and they're, they have more like a yellow shade, which I actually like a lot more. The skirt fits me really well. It have, even has like a zipper in it. It's very flowy, very soft. The crop top is also really nice. It's just that it's way too big for me actually. Like I could probably fit like another half of me in there, but Tailoring it down to make it smaller isn't hard at all. That's probably one of the easiest things to fix when it comes to tailoring any sort of clothing item. So I'm not too worried about it. It also has like these straps that you can attach from the crop top to the skirt. I don't know. It doesn't exactly have much of a use, but it just looks cool. So you can decide if you want to wear it that way too. I'm really excited to wear this. I feel like sunflowers go really well with Nymphit fashion, so. E. Okay, now I'm gonna try to sort of speed run everything now because I have way too much. <laughs> this is my Bon Chance collection dress. It's like off the shoulder. I'm trying to hold it back here so you can actually see the design in it. Let me try to do it like this. Can you see? Yeah. So we got flowers in a heart shape and there's like other flowers in other places and it's like this really cute yellow color. I feel like this is my favorite shade of yellow. Everything from Bon Chance collections is amazing. If you're looking for Nymphit fashion anything, one Chance Collections is going to be the best place to go to, I feel like. 90% of the things that they have, it looks like it can go with Nymphit Fashion, so if you're looking for an easy way to get 
Nymphit fashion things, go to Blind Chance Collections. Next, I have this little slip dress. It's like this satin material. It has like these details and the top of it and then little bows. I like to wear this and like put a white crop top under it. I think it looks really cute like that. And this I actually got from Amazon and I actually like made a video of me like trying it on and everything. So if you wanna see that, it's in a past video. Next, I have this cute little mint dress that I think I got from Rekuten. Rekuten's like a Japanese Amazon, I guess. It has really nice lace design around the collar part, has these cute little buttons. We got some polka dots going on in the skirt area. It actually comes with this like uh, thing you tie around it. I actually prefer to like just wear it without it, but I mean, it still looks cute if you want to tie a bow or something. Next is this cute little dress. So for this, it comes with this belt. Let me show you. This is the belt it comes with, but the belt was just, it was way too big for me and it was falling down where it shouldn't have fell down. And I tried to fix it and uh, it ended up cracking, whoops, cause <laughs> there's where I wanted the hole to be. That's where all the holes are and it ended up ripping. So I don't wear that belt. But what I like to do is I wrap this around it since you can sort of easily customize how you want it to be like around you. So like if it's under your bus, you can do it like that. Then it also has this pink little ribbon thing around the neck so you can make a bow out of that also. This is from Algara K on Amazon, you can find them. Next, I actually got this dress from Justice, that little kid's clothing store. But um, it fits me and it's cute. I really like the flowers in it and it has like little sparklies there. I like how it has little ruffly, flowy parts on the sleeves. And it's sort of sheer too, like you can see my hand through it. When I wear this, I sort of feel like a lavender forest nymph. Then I have this dress, which is actually like way too big for me. So what I'm thinking of doing is um, altering it to be a crop top. If I have enough material after that, I was thinking of doing like a circle skirt to go with it. So I could have like a matching little set of this because the print is really cute but it's just too big for me and it's pretty boxy also i think it's hard to look flattering in this so i'm going to alter this at some point here is another dress that i got off of Rakuten. it's like the, a sort of schoolgirl dress it's like a nice navy blue we got cute little buttons on there with a little collar it's a really nice material too like it's pretty thick so i like to wear this in the winter then i have this sort of like off white creamy dress i got this at a store that's like local to me so i don't think that you can really buy this online anywhere so sorry about that little details in the waist area then down in the skirt at the bottom, it looks like that. So yeah, this is like a good summery sort of dress. Then here's just this basic black dress. I just like to throw this over like crop tops, maybe a long sleeve shirt. That would be good for like the winter. Just a nice little slip dress. Here's this dress. It's like a plaid sort of pattern. I got this off of Amazon too. I did an unboxing of this and a try on. So you can check out that video if you want to. This is what it looks like close up. Here is another dress that's in that same video. It always looks so nice on camera. I mean, it looks good in real life too. It's made out of like this nice velvet sort of fabric. Very soft, very nicely made. It has like this open back going on. It's so cute. Let me show you, did I show you like the full thing in the back here? Cute, I like how it shines like that. Then I have this dress, which I actually did a lookbook on and it got like over half a million views, but uh, it got demonetized, so say hey, thanks YouTube. But anyway, I really like it cause the uh, bows sort of remind me of uh, what Lolita wore, that outfit that everyone loves, that black and white bow two piece set thing. But I got this off of Amazon. Algara K again. Here is a really pretty dress that I got from H&M. Dean's went in H&M haul because like, I can totally make a sort of mini haul out of it, like, and have like a proper try on, actually go into details. But anyway, it's like a beige-ish sort of color. Let me show you the details up close. So it's like sort of sheer in this part. On the side, it has that going on. Also sort of princess, fairy nymph vibe going on here. Here is that dress I was talking about before that I got from Shein. As you can see, the uh, the sunflowers are a bit more orangey, but it has built-in pads. I keep on saying that. I'll keep on saying that till like I die, but that's like my favorite thing about this dress. And it's just really cute, nice and summery. This is what the back looks like. It has like crisscrosses there. Here is another dress from Shein. It's just this black and white, simple gingham dress that I really love. 
This is probably one of my favorite dresses because it's easy to pair it with other things. Then I have this big, thick dress that I got a long time ago. I feel like I might have got this off of Rectin. I'm pretty sure. I like to wear this in the winter. It's very hefty. For my last dress, I have this butterfly dress. It has stripes all over it. We got a ribbon that you can tie make a little bow with. It reminded me of another outfit that Lolita wore in the movie. So I seen this and I was like, I have to have it, especially with the um, butterflies too, because Nabokov like butterflies, so that's a good nymphette motif, I feel like. <sighs> okay, that's all the dresses I'm going to move on to. My tops now. This is a shirt that I actually thrifted in Ocean City. We got some ruffles in the sleeves. I like how everything's very faded out. Like it just looks old and I like that. Then I have this top. It's sort of hard to see with my lights. See there's like little specks of something in the top part and on the sleeves. It's share. There, you can see my fingers. But I just like to wear this um, under things. I don't really wear it on its own. It's good for like dresses, especially in the winter because it's long sleeves, so. Then I have this cute little top that I got a long time ago. Pretty sure this is also from Rectin. It's a polka dot top. We got some sort of poofy outy sleeves. We got a really big bow in the middle. This is another pretty basic shirt, but I don't know. I like the bow on the side. I like how the arm part, the sleeves, what the fuck is an arm part? It's sleeves. I like how these flare out like that. Can you also see the lace I got going on around the neckline? Then I have this cute little shirt. I believe this is also from Rakuten. It's just this cute mint little shirt and it has little polka dots around the collar. It also comes with a little, I don't know what they call this, something that you can wrap around the collar and then you can make a little bow out of it. Here is another really cute top that I got from Amazon. I unboxed, no, I didn't unbox this. I did a haul of stuff and this was in it. I like to wear this with high-waisted white shorts. Then I have this long sleeve top. This is also from Amazon from Algara K. It has like this little metal part on the collar. Then I have this shirt. It's like a nice, cute, peachy sort of color. You can tie these two little strings together and make a little bow. It sort of has like flowers in the design, if you can see that. Pretty sure this is another uh, top that I got from Rukden a long time ago. You can tie this part, make a little bow sort of thing out of it. Here's another very basic sort of top. I feel like this is the first nymphet sort of thing that I ever got. So this is very sentimental, oh my god. This I actually think that I got from Macy's, maybe? Maybe? I can't remember, it's been a while. Here is another top that I got from Algara K on Amazon. Just a nice mint sort of color. We, you got your florals going on, you got another color going on. Let me show you what the flowers look like up close. Ooh, how pretty. Once again from Algara K, we got this cute, flowy, sort of pale pink top with black color and it has heart-shaped buttons on there. This is what the buttons look like up close. Really cute, I like the hearts. Then I actually got this dress from Walmart. I think it was actually in the children's section, but like whatever. But um, it fits me really boxy though. So what I wanted to do is um, alter it and make it like a crop top. I think it would look really cute then. Here is another little shirt that I got from H&M. Really cute, I really like how just airy and soft this is. I feel like this is a good beachy sort of shirt. Then you can tie little bows on the sleeves too because you got some strings. Then I have this shirt that was actually gifted to me. This is a completely sheer shirt, so it's sort of hard to find something that will go with it because you got to figure out how you want to, I don't know, hide your chest, so there's that. But it's like this nice gingham pattern and then there's like little flowers all over it. How cute. And then it has a little collar there. It's actually a button-down shirt too. This is a top that I actually got at like my local anime convention. They sell sometimes some really cute things, like clothing-wise. Another very flowy sort of shirt. Let me show you what the flowers look like up close too. It's really cute. Here's another basic shirt from H&M. I feel like just on its own, this isn't very nymphette, but if I want to pair it with like that black slip dress that I showed, I think it works very well. It gives sort of like alarm vibe too, so there's that. And lastly for my shirts is another thing that I actually got at that anime convention again. Cute sleeveless top. I just really like the little illustrations on it. Like we got dresses and flowers and this cute little purse. Lots of things that can work with Nymphet fashion, I feel like. There's little lipstick and stuff. Okay, now we're going to move on to crop tops or crop top sets, so like crop tops and a skirt, crop top, 
and a pair of shorts. So this is something, now I know this looks really small. I'm gonna show you like a picture of what it looks like worn here because I swear it does not look like this crazy small. But uh, this was actually something that I altered. So it used to be a very long dress. Like this dress reached down to like my ankles. So that was just not my thing. It was also just way too big for me. So I altered it into this crop top and now it fits me really well. This is a cute little crop top that I got from Shein. It looks very small, but I promise you, I'm completely covered in it. It's a very thin sort of fabric, which I like. Some people consider that to be bad quality, which I can understand. But like, I like it when things are flowy, especially when the thing is obviously supposed to be for summer. Like, I, I want to feel light and airy and flowy and yeah. Here is a crop top that I actually made, which I have a tutorial up on my YouTube if you want to see how I made this. Maybe make one for yourself. I have little roses going down the middle and there's lace lining like the whole thing and a little bow on the top. I actually made this from a like robe that came with my pink satin dress because I don't know I didn't know when I would actually wear the robe so I was like okay I'll turn this into something so this is what I made out of it. Ooh. Here's another Bone Chance Collections piece so this is a two-piece set so I'm gonna show you things one by one. Here is the skirt. It's like a nice lavender color and it has cute little flowers all over it. Here's the crop top that goes with it. I know it looks sort of crazy when it's not like actually properly on because there's like these ropes or strings hanging everywhere but you tie the strings and you can make a little bow and it's that same pattern as the skirt. I like it when things match like that. Here is this little crop top that I actually got from Justice. I think I did my very first Nymphit video wearing this top so oh how sentimental and nice but just like this nice little pastel -y color it gives me like a really dreamy nostalgic feeling then i have this really simple white crop top that i got from amazon i feel like this is one of the things that you absolutely need if you want to get into the fashion it just goes with so many things here is this that i actually made out of a pair of leggings i just cut out like the crotch area which i should probably go back over because you can see like the raw edges of it so i can like sew it like that and make it look not ugly. You got some milkshakes and candies and cupcakes and really cute and fed things. Oh, there's, is there a cherry too? There are cherries all around it too. Wow, amazing. Here is another thing that I got from Amazon. It's this nice peach gingham sort of crop top. Really springy, really summery. I like to wear this with a um, pleated white skirt. Here is a halter crop top that says Lolita because I really wanted something that said Lolita. And it has like this really open back. Then I have a crop top and short set that I got from Shein, so let me show you the top first. Here is the top. It's stripy, black and white. You can tie it in the back to put it on, make a little bow. Then for the shorts, of course, they match. And it's not like skin tight shorts, it's sort of like flares out at the end. So now I'm going to move on to my skirts. So this is a skirt that I got in Harajuku actually, my very first time I went to Japan. By the way, if you like Japan and you're not subscribed to me yet, you should probably subscribe to me because I'm going to be studying abroad and I'm going to be buying cool things and making cool videos there, so, hey. But it's just this cute ruffly skirt. It has this nice little lace detailing at the bottom. Then I have this cute gray skirt. We got some nice little like lacy detailing at the bottom. Then we have this pink skirt. Uh, usually I hate these kind of pinks, but I don't know. I feel like I at least needed one sort of hot, not not really hot pink, but a bright pink skirt. I like to wear this with my Lolita halter crop top. When I'm feeling more like bubblegum, I'll wear this. Then I have this skirt. This was actually from uh, Bodyline from their uh, Sailor Fuku. I just wear the uh, skirt because, you know, it doesn't look like a costume or anything. Like, it's just a basic sort of schoolgirl skirt. Then I have this cute little skirt. This was also gifted to me. This is another thing. Like, I feel like if you pair this with the right things also, you can create a nice schoolgirl sort of looking outfit. Then I have my white high-waisted skirt. This is another like nymphet fashion staple I feel like. It can go with a lot of things. Then I have this skirt. It's like a sort of yellowy off-white color if I can show you right. You can see there go there's like some lace around all of the end of the layers. This is from a wet seal which I don't think is around anymore so whoops sorry. Then for my last skirt this is something that I got from Shein I believe but it's like this really nice high-waisted, not even high-waisted, like this part comes under your bust. But I don't know, it's very unique. I like this a lot. Got some suspenders going on. Really cute. Now I have like three pairs of shorts that I'm gonna show you in. So I have these white pairs. 
that I got from H&M. I feel like these are another like nymphic fashion staple because of Lolita's tennis outfit, so. Another pair of high-waisted shorts, but this is just a regular denim. But I like how the buttons sort of go up like that. I feel like buttons that have this uh, setup going on are sort of nymphette. Then for my last pair, it's just, it's not even like high-waisted shorts, but it has like some red, white, and blue going on, and I feel like some outfits with nymphic fashion have a more like American vibe going on, so. Like, this would be good for like the 4th of July or something. Now lastly, I'm going to move on to my jackets and that'll be it. So, hair is this very nice fake fur jacket. I feel like fur jackets sort of work well with nymphic fashion. Gives off more of like an elegant sort of vibe, I feel like. Then I have this cute little, I, is this a jacket? What do you even call this? I feel like I throw over, I guess. It has short sleeves, but in the back, it has this really pretty lace going on. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, you can see. This is also a really nice jacket that I got from Romwe. This is probably one of my favorite jackets. It's another like fake fur jacket. It has cute pearls going all the way around it. Here's another like sort of throw over jacket thing. I feel like this would also be nice in the spring or if you're going to like a fancy restaurant or something. I don't know. That's the sort of feeling I get from this. I have this really nice knitted sort of off-white cream jacket. This is what it looks like detail-wise. You got your buttons. Very cute. And then that is actually it for all the Nymphed clothing items that I own. Remember that I'm going to be doing a shoe collection probably in my next video. I got some really Nymphed looking shoes, I think. Also remember to check out Romwe and Shein. They have really nice, cute Nymphed looking clothing items. So I'm going to link to the stuff I got from them in the description below. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. All my social media will be down in the description below. Also, that is it for this video. So if you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.